Hello everybody, we're at JBJ Techniques to find out exactly what they offer. Let's go and meet the team. So Ben, thank you for the opportunity to come to JBJ. First question, when did JBJ start? Well first of all Andrew, thank you for coming to JBJ's headquarters. Uh, JBJ started on the 27th of September 1974. That's quite specific. Then. Well, it was a good year. I was born that year for a okay. start. So, uh, uh, yeah, I, I don't know if you know what JBJ stands for. Well, no. JBJ stands for Jack, Bob and John. Uh, they were the guys that started JBJ in 1974. And, uh, yeah, and it's still a family business to today. That's, um, that's really good. What's the expertise of JBJ? Oh, JBJ's expertise is um, solving, uh, putting solutions to problems for customers. Uh, and we can turn stuff around same day. So if there's uh, customers have mechanical fluid breakdowns, we can supply a solution to that problem. We got an in-house machine shop that can actually make stuff there and then. Um, and also we got decent products on the shelf ready to go out to be shipped out. So Ben, your customers, um, they've got mechanical fluid power systems. What are some of the challenges that they face? Uh, some of the challenges they face is uh, breakdowns, Okay. Um, and we can supply a, a solution to those breakdowns um, straight away for them and in some cases we can uh, machine it and get it out same day. Um, one of the cases we have now is, is providing solutions to net, net zero. Uh, so we you know, supply bell housings and couplings uh, that will replace diesel engines and um, put electric engines in place. Well, right, okay, so that's quite involved, isn't it? There's a lot more going on in that. So what you seem to be suggesting that this is, this is more than just supplying a product? Oh, definitely. Um, we supply, we, from the moment the customer will phone us, we supply it all the way through to it going out the door. So that would be the engineering expertise to actually put the solution to the problem, depending on all, prob all customers have got different problems. So we have got a team of people that can actually um, supply those solutions. Um, we got some really good products of our own, um, like with Net Zero supplying that um, a bell housing and coupling arrangement. Uh, so, and they're also products that go into environments like ATEX, so they go into chemical, mining, and oil and gas. Okay, so it's quite a widespread of expertise then, it's quite a, a wide knowledge. So, with the knowledge base that you've got, what are the challenges that JBJ themselves face? Uh, one of the challenges we face, I think, is finding uh, that st skilled staff in the way, maybe the youngsters, trying to get them more involved into engineering. Um, and that is probably, personally for me, is one of the hardest challenges, is trying to find people that want to come into engineering. Okay. Um, other challenges, of course, uh, is, is, is get, getting ready for net zero, and also we, we are... a health and safety conscious company, so keeping up with health and safety and stuff like that. Yeah, no, I, I, I understand. So really then, what you've got at the moment is an asset in your engineering base, so your staff are a massive asset Absolutely. to the business. Absolutely, um, without, without um, the, the, the JBJ team, uh, yeah, we, you know, they're very knowledgeable engineers, knowledgeable individuals who work for JBJ. No, that's really good. Now. Could we take an opportunity to see some of them in action? Yeah, sure, not a problem at all. Graham, nice to meet you. Now, could you tell us what is it that you do at JBJ? I'm the workshop manager. My role is to oversee the work going onto the machines, keeping the machines running, and also help out to design or to actually be able to machine something. Right, okay. So, every day is the same, or do you get variety? Variety. Okay. Yeah, a lot of variety. And do you enjoy that or is it a pain? No, I absolutely thrive on variety. <laughs> That's really good. <laughs> nice to meet you. Thank you very much. Adam, nice to meet you. You too. Firstly, can I ask, what is it that you do at JBJ? I'm a general machinist here, so I run most of the machines here, CNC and manual, and fill in the odd jobs here and there. Okay, understood. So quite a variety of different things. Yeah, quite a bit here and there. What is it that got you into this? Mainly had a little bit of experience in secondary school and I learned a whole bunch of theory at university for in mechanical engineering. But I really was interested in machining and I you watched a whole bunch of that stuff in my free time and so I was quite interested in wanting to learn it. Okay. I mean that's really excellent. So do you find what you're doing challenging? It it varies between the jobs, but some of them can be quite difficult. Some of them are 
a little bit more tame, but it's still, still a learning process all the time as you do the jobs and build on it. Very much sounds like you enjoy it. Yeah, I've been here two years and I'm enjoying it so far. That's absolutely brilliant. Thank you for your time. <laughs> you too. Ben, I've had a great visit to JBJ. I've seen the real heart of what you guys do. Um, the passion comes across. The belief in the engineering ability really does shine. Now, for viewers who are watching this, how do they get to access that knowledge base? Well, first of all, it's been great having you here today, Andrew. Thank you. And um, we're really passionate about what we do. We love making stuff and we love solving people's problems. So to be honest with you, we can't wait for them to phone and talk to us because that's what we prefer. We like a relationship with our customers, but there is the other options as well. Uh, website, uh, info at JBJ, and LinkedIn, all the usual kind of platforms. Okay, so you've emphasised there that you'd actually like to talk to people. Absolutely, we like a personal relationship with our customers and we get, we get more, more information when we talk to them personally, face to face or by phone. Brilliant. That's really great. Thank you so much. Uh, really appreciate everything you've demonstrated for us, Ben, uh, from there. So if you are watching this and you'd like to find out more about what JBJ do, you'd like to see how they can help you, as Ben said, um, they love nothing more than to actually discuss the engineering that you're dealing with. So why not get in contact with them? You can check out their website. The link is on the um, frame below me. And as I say, it's real passion for engineering. It certainly motivates me uh, to see it and to see it in full effect. And it's definitely here at JBJ. Thanks for watching. We look forward to seeing you on the next video.